The final home game of the season at the rack. Another chance for a big Big Ten victory. One last vehicle to thrill the crowd. One final opportunity for C.J. Geddes to represent the Scarlet Knights. Rutgers on senior day in home whites. Rutgers controls the opening tip. It wasn't the only thing Rutgers controlled in the ball game. They also controlled the backboards, and they played with purpose. Mike Williams knocks down the three. He has played well over his last eight, averaging over 11 points a game. Speaking of great, that described Deshaun Freeman's day. And turn it over, and there is Deshaun Freeman finishing on the other end. A great start for Rutgers. That's what they've done all year long. They played terrific defense, turned defense into offense. Black is stripped, another turnover for the Illini. Corey Saunders, but there's Gettys to clean it up. And John Gross quickly calls a timeout. A 7-0 start for the Knights. Gettys wasn't the only one pumped up. His teammates were, the cheerleaders were, and the crowd was on fire. Time game against Illinois here last year as Freeman goes to the other side of the rim. Pretty reverse for the junior from North Carolina. Meantime, Gettys was on a mission. Gettys now backing down on Maverick Morgan. Goes with the left hand off the window. You know, he feels inspired today. I always want to have a good game on your senior night. Only on senior day do you get that shot to go. Gettys, one of the Achilles heels for this team has been free throw shoots. And with that set, Freeman hits them both, and it's 15 to 10. Steve Michael's troops were as locked in as their fiery head coach. Dorson to put back. No. Got that one to fall. And the foul. A hotly contested first half was defined by intensity and hustle from both teams. Obviously, now that he's playing better, that leadership's even better. Nigel Johnson hits a three. 30 to 27 Rutgers at the half. Illinois hoping to come in here today and stretch that winning streak to five, but you can see Rutgers playing well. They finished the half on a 9-2 run. Play hard, you've got 20 minutes on three. One, two, three. Play hard. Right to Corey Sanders had a quiet first half, but shined in the last 20 minutes. And it wasn't just his scoring that turned some heads. And then they're okay. Freeman on the feet from the point. Sanders found him. Tied at 34. Good time. Early in the second half, Illinois put together a stunning run. 17-4 to be exact. And Rutgers found themselves down by 10. Enter Jake Datica and Mike Williams. Jake Datica into the game now. Williams, he'll try a three and hit. His second triple of the game. Plays extremely hard the entire time he's out there. Williams! Tries the other wing and hits. And Rutgers back within four. Lead is five for Illinois. They once led by 10. They're really on in the second half, but Rutgers has been a a tough competitor all year. Sanders exemplifies that toughness. Sanders with a basket on the drive and one. Look out, here comes Corey Sanders, perhaps. Steve Michael's done a good job of resting Sanders a little bit in this ball game. Look out in these last 10 minutes. Can Sanders try to take over this game? Rims out. Finky. Tied up with Freeman, possession arrow favors Rutgers. And a chance for the Scarlet Knights to go back in front. In a game featuring seven ties and eight lead changes, the best was yet to come. Sanders, who had just four points in the first half, exploded in the second. Sophomore Corey Sanders. In the closing minutes, it was gut time at the rack. What a block is sawed right off his hands by Williams. It is Sanders attacking high off the glass. Got the bounce, and we're tied. Crowd comes to its feet. Illinois 
uses its last timeout. Stand up, everyone. Let's cheer our team. Fall through the end. Let's go. With athletic director Pat Hobbs leading the charge, the rack turned into a frenzy for the final flurry of activity. A tenacious battle between two Big Ten teams coming down to one final play. One great opportunity for the home team to prevail. The score was tied at 59 and the Scarlet Knights had the basketball with everything on the line. Sanders bleeding the clock. Here comes the screen. It's Freeman for three. Deshaun Freeman nails the game-winning three. In the final seconds, he finishes with 21 big points. What a finish in this ball game.